Hey, my name is Mwakwana Mabuza. I reside at Olifants Fontaine, South Africa. I would like to talk about my journey of leadership. I believe it comes from a strong conviction that I had. And these convictions have been buried for so many years and it was only revived two years ago while I, had one, while I was suffering a disease. I was diagnosed with a disease called I had a meningitis of the brain. But that beyond is that I have discovered and revived my inner convictions. I believe that South Africans are a very smart nation which talk about serious issues that have affected us, that are affecting us and ultimately will affect the future generation of our country and the future of our country. But what do we do beyond those conversations, those heartfelt and meaningful conversations that we had, we have? What is it that we're going to do next? I believe that's where we need to step in as the future generation and the future leaders of this country, that what is it that we need to do? Beyond that, I believe that there's something that we need to do. I'm going to repeat Mahatma Gandhi's quote where we say, be the change that you want to see in the world. My journey started two years ago, as I have said, but I've always, oh, I have buried my convictions. I believe that whenever I could sense injustices or unfairness or inequalities, something in me would rise in me and knowing that there's something that needs to be done. That happened when I was in my current position, in my current company, but a different position that I was feeling that I was not adding value and I had this gap, which made my best move that I moved to my company's um, foundation of which that year, it was an unfortunate year, which our company has faced uh, a storm. And I was part of the lead team or part of the A team that was involved in restoring and keeping the promises of the company back to repay the, the public and restoring our company's reputation. That's where I could have the full sense of what was happening in the country through the NGOs that I have engaged with, that there is inequalities, there, is, there are injustices, there are poverty that we are faced with in South Africa. So I felt that, that we need to do something. And I have tried to go into the political way of which I felt that I have faced a stumbling block in that and i feel that this kind of initiative this kind of organization will be able to broaden our minds and bring in-depth information